Hi everyone, this is Dane with Cactus Social Media Automation, and I want to talk to you about the Cactus Bulk Upload Posts feature. This is a feature that we're very excited about. Uh, it provides another way that uh, users can mass create posts that will recycle in the future automatically. So why would you want to use something like this? Well, uh, as you can see, I'm logged in here to Cactus. I entered my website, and Cactus has created all of these posts for me automatically. I didn't have to write any of these. Cactus created them all for me, which is awesome. However, there might be some posts that you can think of that Cactus did not think of, and it did not write automatically for you. So for cases like this, we have this bulk upload posts feature. Now, you might want to add one post that Cactus didn't write, you might want to have 20 additional posts that Cactus didn't write, or 100 different posts that Cactus didn't write. The bulk upload posts feature handles this and lets you mass create all of those posts, load them into Cactus, so they will automatically be there for you and automatically recycle in the future. So it's a one-time bulk upload process where you don't have to go back and write new posts again and upload posts again. They'll just automatically recycle for you. All right, so let's take a look at how this works. From the Cactus menu here, you'll just find the bulk upload posts link. And you'll, this will take you to the bulk upload evergreen posts screen. This process is super simple. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a CSV file. It has to be a CSV, and it has to be formatted specifically for Cactus to be able to create the post. So I have an example file here. And this is what you're going to want to do. You're just going to want to have uh, two columns. You can have an a, an a column and a B column. And you don't want any headers at all at the top. You just want text on the first column, column A. This can be some intro or descriptive text about your link. In column B is where you're going to want to add your link. All right, so this needs to be a valid URL here. So there needs to be text here in column A and a valid URL in column B. I've only filled in four rows here, so this file would create four posts for me. But you can create up to 100, and you can bulk upload up to 100 posts at a time using this feature. So you could conceivably fill your spreadsheet up all the way down to line 100 with this new content that you want to upload into Cactus. All right, so I have this file here. I've saved it as a CSV. That is a very important. It needs to be in CSV file format. I've called it Cactus Bulk Upload Example. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to our Evergreen Post screen. And by the way, just noting here, you can download an example of the correctly formatted file here using this button. But here's where you're going to want to upload the post. So you can just use the uh, form here to select your file. And here's my file right here. It is Cactus Bulk Upload Example.csv. So I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Uh, you have to select a website as well, but this will, if you only have one website, that'll be automatically selected for you. If you're using Cactus to promote multiple websites, this drop down list would list all of those websites, and you'd want to select which website these posts are going to go with. All right, and now the only other thing you're going to have to enter here is the start date. This is going to be the start date where Cactus is going to begin publishing these posts. Now, looking back at my posts here, what this can be the start date can be any date that you choose, and you can see the date of my posts here. I usually like to use bulk upload and start right at the end of my posts. So right now, the last post I have is scheduled for um, June third. Okay, so probably I'm going to use the start date of June fourth. So back in the bulk upload screen here, I am going to select June fourth as my start date. So that's the date that Cactus is going to start publishing the posts. It is going to automatically schedule the posts based on the number of posts per day that you selected when you first entered your website. So all you need to do is enter the start date and it'll automatically schedule everything else. So you don't have to worry about complicated date formatting in, in your spreadsheet. That's not an issue. You just need to enter the text and the link in your, in your CSV file, and then this start date will handle the rest. Furthermore, to create your CSV file, you can use any of your standard spreadsheet 
applications. I'm on a Mac here, so I'm using the Mac app, which is Numbers, but you can also do it on Microsoft Excel, and you can do it on Google Sheets, and really any spreadsheet application that can export a spreadsheet into a CSV file will oh. work. Okay, so now that I have uploaded my CSV file here, I have selected my website here, and I've chosen my start date here, that's all I need to do. I can just click go here, and Cactus is going to upload these posts for me. All right, so let's see here. If you go down to the bottom, you can see these posts have been uploaded, right? Starting with June 4th, and we had four posts that got uploaded there. I selected one post per day when I first entered my website, so that's why I just automatically scheduled the 4th and the 5th and the 6th, and then the 7th. So it would change based on how many posts per day you originally selected for your website. So that's it. I don't need to worry about these posts ever again. They're going to promote my evergreen content on social media and automatically recycle in the future. If you want to learn more, please visit cactusautomation.com where you can sign up for a free 30-day trial.